only in New Orleans. The Ursuline Convent, the oldest European building in the Mississippi Valley, one of the five original buildings that didn't burn when the Spaniards ruled. In 1725, Bienville, one of the first governors of the French Louisiana colony, wrote to Louis XV, please send women. This is such an ungodly place. He sent 12 Ursuline nuns. They arrived mosquito-bitten and exhausted on a hot summer morning in 1727. The small group of French Ursuline nuns answering the call to educate women in the overcrowded colony had completed a harrowing five-month ocean voyage, marked by violent storms, pirate threats, seasickness, food rationing, then a difficult seven-day, 100-mile boat trip up the Mississippi River to the new city of New Orleans. The Ursulines went quickly to work, opening the doors to their school. They would educate not only elite girls in their school, also poor girls, whether French, African, or Indian, in the city's first free school. They would also open the first orphanage in New Orleans, provide shelter for the young girls from France, called the casket girls, small suitcases with hinges loaded with goodies who were sent as possible brides for men in the colony. The nuns worked in the colony's military hospital. In Ursuline, Sister Frances Xavier became the first female pharmacist in the New World. You can visit the pharmacy museum on charters in St. Louis.